Action police lights quickly replaced the bright lights of the Las Vegas Strip as police tried to piece together the shooting of rap star Tupac Shakur. In the mid-90s, Tupac Shakur was nothing less than a hip-hop prophet. Then, the thug life caught up with him. I'm a thug. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real. Can't nobody tell me I'm keeping it real, because I'm keeping it real. The violence began in November 1993, when Tupac was shot five times in a New York recording studio. He lived and blamed the incident on fellow rapper and ex-pal Notorious B.I.G., igniting a bitter East Coast-West Coast feud that lasted for years. You have to remember, the beef between Biggie and Pac was a rap thing. It's competitive, but keep it in perspective. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like everybody did. Then, on September 7th, 1996, during an evening drive in Las Vegas with Death Row CEO Suge Knight, Shakur was shot at several times. Only four bullets actually connected, but they were enough. He's suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He's undergone two surgeries. He's had a right lung removed, and he remains in critical condition. The 25-year-old died six days later. The rest of peace. He was shot once before, and he figured, like, it's Tupac. He's going to pull through. But to find out that he actually got killed, it was a sad time. Though his killer is a mystery even today, Tupac lives on in music and spirit. I mean, this guy, he, he still got albums coming out, you know, 10 years after his death. It's like, come on, Pac, how much stuff did you do? His legacy will live on forever. Oh, yeah.